I'm John Diaz. Thank you for watching. The man convicted of kidnapping and killing 10 year old Briasia Terrell learned his fate today. News 8's Nina Burns was in the courtroom for Henry Dinkins sentencing and joins us live outside the Scott County Courthouse. Good evening, Nina. Good evening, John. Now, Henry Dinkins faced two mandatory life sentences. That's after he was convicted of first degree murder and first degree kidnapping. But before that sentencing, he had the opportunity to speak to the court. Instead of admitting any guilt, he brought us through the long journey to this bench trial. Dinkins, claiming Judge Latham always had it out for him, that he never had a chance at a fair jury trial, and that the guilty verdict came from a racial profiling, saying, quote, racism runs deep in Iowa for people of color. Dinkins' case, which was set for a jury trial in Cedar Rapids, just hours before jury selection, he waived his right to a jury trial, bringing us to this bench trial in Scott County. Dinkins even pointing the finger to his own defense team, saying they never stood up for him when he says the state withheld evidence and exhibits from him. He's in my case. I'm not quite understanding how I wasn't given 665 exhibits or seen any footage just before this trial. He did make me believe I was he was going to raise these issues, but I never seen nothing come forward. I've asked several times, but was told you have nothing to worry about. I was being bamboozled by the blind side while nothing was being introduced or brought to the surface. I thought hearing you get a life sentence with no possibility of parole would help me sleep at night. And it just doesn't because she didn't have to be gunned down like that nor left like that. What you just heard was Briage's mother addressing Dinkins after Dinkins spoke for 23 minutes to the court. Now, I never like to look at my phone when I do this stuff, but this is very important. And when Dinkins questioned what happened to his freedom of speech and his ability to address the court, well, that is a direct reference to the letter he wrote Judge Latham just days before the verdict. But Judge Latham informed him that the only way he could even acknowledge a letter from Dinkins himself is that if he didn't have any representation and he represented himself. As we all know, that's not the case. He had a full defense team. And tonight at 6, we dive deeper into both Briasia's mother and Dinkins' rights and what they said today right before his sentencing. Back to you, John. All right, thank you, Nina. Henry Dinkins was sentenced to two consecutive or back-to-back -back life sentences.